I want to give you all a bird's eye view of how to gap a Briggs & Stratton lawnmower coil. Uh, it's real easy. You can see uh, some of my other videos on how to take the engine shroud off. And once you get to this point, you're going to need a quarter inch socket. Some have a 5 16 um, and a feeler gauge. And uh, more specifically, you're going to need a number 12 feeler gauge. The reason why I say number 12 feeler gauge is because when I first started out in this business, a really nice old guy named Herb Schaefer, who used to do lawnmower repair, uh, rest in peace Herb, he's since passed on, but uh, he was kind of my mentor in a way for a few years when I first was starting out. And I'll never forget uh, him telling me for the first time uh, what the measurement, what the gap was at the coil. He told me it was 12. So I always remember that. So anyways, and that's what we want the gap to be um, between each terminal and the flywheel. Uh, more specifically, each terminal and the magnets on the flywheel. So. Just crack it loose. Now keep in mind these are very fragile bolts, so you want to be extremely cautious when unscrewing them or specific, more specifically when you're screwing them back in not to over torque. Because they will break off on you and then you're screwed. So there's my 12. And if I didn't loosen it enough. What I do is I just use a screwdriver here to kind of stick in and pry it, pry the gap open, and put in my 12. That's where you want to tighten it. Don't need to fully torque it down at this point because you still need to do the other side here. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty good. Slides in and out. Doesn't get stuck. So we tighten these down. Can't remember what the torque is on these. On, I suppose I'll look that up for you. See, so new mechanics don't uh, <clears throat> over torque them and break them off. Because I know I've done that when I was starting out. Now I know how tight they need to be. That one's still good. And that one's perfect too. So that is how to gap a coil.